This week on 3D Printed Soup, I'm going to show you how to turn these old PLA sprues into proper 3D printed terrain using a company called Digital Taxidermy. Awesome name, lovely guys. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers, welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. If you're like me, you're going to have loads of these lying around. Empty, half filled reels of PLA which if you're not going to use anymore or you've got empty ones lying around the place and you basically don't know what to do with them. Don't throw them out. Digital Taxidermy have got a fantastic print where you can basically make a shell that goes around them and turn them into brilliant towers and buildings for your sci-fi and your fantasy gaming and they turn out very very nicely. Before I do that however, don't forget to like and subscribe keeps the channel happy and running, and we're almost at 200. 10 more, come on guys, let's get to 200. I don't know why, nothing happens at 200, but yeah, gotta keep feeding the algorithm. Enough of that, stick around to the end of the video, and I've got a great offer for you from Digital Tax Dummy, where you can have money off your first orders from them, and that's for the rest of the month. Details in the description below, and I'll give you more information at the end of the video. But for now, let's start printing some awesome, empty, PLA Real Scenery. Let's give us a try. Right, so we start off with the reel, just your, your normal standard uh, PLA reel. In fact, I'm going to flip that over there and you'll see why in a minute. And under here you start off with these wonderful curved pieces of terrain. Some of the pieces I've printed in resin, like this particular gun shop here. Um, I've given it, also given it a try printing out in uh, PLA as well. And yeah, it's come out quite nicely. I think the uh, the actual layer lines give it a nice sort of industrial feel. So yeah, very, very happy with that. That's printed at standard, um, sort of regular layer height. This is printed at fine. Now, I did try printing out rough as well, and the results were not quite as good, but that's to be expected in rough. But what I would say though is, although the bars didn't print out particularly well, it does give it a nice sort of old aesthetic and you can see basically some of the prints have 
bits have failed there as well on the rough. So it gives it a sort of almost like a rusted through, fallen to pieces feel. And that might actually suit some cyberpunk settings. So yeah, maybe try printing some of these out in rough and um, sort of paint them with a bit of rust and a few maybe rust holes. And yeah, you could do sort of abandoned burnt out shops and that would actually turn out quite nicely. So yeah, I also did this with, um, this one I printed with no supports. This one I printed with a few little supports. And of course, this being um, resin, I printed it with the supports attached to the back. So didn't under the front got uh, any of the little dimple marks you sometimes get with resin supports. The uh, floors themselves, these are just printed out on an Ender 3 using PLA. And yeah, they've turned out very, very nicely. This is dead fun. It's sort of a, a guns and ammo shop and you've got grenades and artillery shells and plas it looks like plasma cells and SMGs. And they just slot nicely under here like so. And then what you do is you get these pieces of flooring and you slot those in there like so. And then you'll get three or four of those around there and three or four pieces of flooring around. You get these really, really nice walk-in sort of uh, almost oriental markets. But the top looks a bit ugly, no problem at all. They also have these nice printable roofs. So, get that lined up. It's a great little outdoor market sort of scene. And you can have sort of like uh, all your figures there buying all your uh, illegal guns and grenades and stims. And they've got loads of different kinds of shops and I've printed a load out. So I'm gonna give these a paint. I'm gonna give them a, a glue and we'll see what this turns out like and see what I think of these files and whether or not they'll be worth your time. Let's get painting.
So yeah, these things turn out really, really nicely. I especially like the way that uh, it's capped at the top and it's got the uh, path around the side as well. So it makes it into a, a very, very nice looking piece of chunky terrain, ready for your sci-fi or your uh, Necromunda kind of games and ready to have lots of exciting adventures where your characters can pick up some ballistic guns and use some of the awesome looking vending machines, which give things like live meat and organs. The kind of stuff you really want to get from a vending machine. So yeah, this is all thanks to Digital Taxidermy. Great company. I'm not getting paid by them. They just offered to uh, give me some files to try and I said I'd review them for them. For you guys, in the description below, click the link. There's a 20% off coupon there for your first order, one per customer, and it's for individual files. Your first file that you download from them, 20% off, and that's till the 10th of December. Give it a look and get yourself a nice discount. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Feel free to like and subscribe, but thank you very much for all your support. Thanks everyone for who's subscribed. If you're not subscribed, drag a curse down, give it a little click. It doesn't hurt nobody and it really helps the channel. Stay happy, stay safe, keep printing.